So using a tools efficiently is very similar to using worker. Essentially, the work items may have to use at least a node. Actually, that's not a technical restriction, but it might have to do with accounting, so credits, or with policies of uh, the scheduler. For instance, if you have a single job per node policy, then of course you would want to make sure that a work item actually uses a complete node to execute. The time of a work item, again, must be significant, so rule of thumb, make it more than a minute. And remember, of course, there is a limit to the number of jobs that can be in the queue, so that also applies to array jobs. So two large numbers of uh, arrays, or the array size, which is too large, is not a good idea. And you may want to limit the number of concurrent jobs, for instance, for the sake of licenses or for the sake of fairness. And this is just a standard feature of the resource manager. So basically you use the dash T option. And um, you also, besides the array IDs which you want to execute, you also specify the number of concurrent jobs. So in this case, the percentage of five means that only five jobs out of that array will be run at the same time. Okay, A tools and conflicts. So basically the A tools module is required in PBS scripts and of course also for submitting jobs. So since it's required in PBS scripts, you might be a little bit, um, let's say, suspicious that it might generate conflicts with other modules, but that should not happen because uh, wrapper scripts are used that actually encapsulate a tools environment into sub processes rather than into your bash script itself.